What's going on YouTube? In today's video, we're gonna be checking out Eufy's Smart Lock with built-in Wi-Fi. So this thing is about, well, this is the nickel version, the nickel plating, and it's 269, I believe it's 269.99, and sometimes they run discounts on their website and whatnot. They also have a silver version of this. So they have two different kinds, so you can pick out which one you like. The silver version is $10 cheaper, uh, and they do have sales, so I will link that in the description below so you can check it out yourself. Uh, and they also give me discounts and all that for my viewers. So if you click on the link, it'll take you to their referral page, and you can check it out and see if there's any discounts currently. I know, I think you buy one item and you get another item for 50% off, and sometimes there's deals in there too as well. So be on the lookout for that. But going back to this, we're gonna check this out and see how it works and see what it looks like. And then also kind of show you around the app that it has because it works on your phone too. What's really nice about adding the fingerprint scanner to a lock is it allows you to not have to remember a code. You just walk up, put your thumb on there, finger, whatever you want, and it automatically unlocks for you. You can set it up for multiple people. With this one, they say it takes 0.3 seconds to register the fingerprint and then it'll be unlocked within a second. So if you put your fingerprint on there, it unlocks instantly. So what I wanna do is I wanna get this opened up and show you what you get in the box, as well as kinda of look at the item and see how well it's built. It's a pretty heavy box and pretty large size box, so it looks like it's probably gonna be pretty beefy and heavy duty for that matter. But I wanna get into the box and see what it looks like, show you more about what it actually looks at like on the door, as well as from outside and inside, and just kind of get the overall quality of it. Uh, I know you few products, I've had quite a few in my my lifetime, I'd say my lifetime, but in the past, and I really like the quality of the Eufy products that I have and have reviewed in the past. I will also put all my other Eufy videos in the description below so you can check those out too. I reviewed uh, some of their security cameras. Um, last thing I reviewed, a camera, whatever it is. Uh, oh, it's video doorbell. And I don't believe I forgot that. I just did that about last week. And then also I did a baby monitor um, and it was pretty, we still use it to this day and I love it. Let's get into the box and see what you get. And then after that, I'm gonna set it up and get it installed. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the app and show you some of the features that what you're seeing and what you're gonna be able to use. So on the box on the front here, you get their BHMA certified. This is kind of have like a builder's association certification. Eufy is an anchor product which I love Anchor products. I forgot to mention that. I'm a big fan of Anchor. Fingerprint identification, smart lock with built-in Wi-Fi. So you kind of get an idea of what it looks like here. They do say up to one year of battery life when connected to Wi-Fi. So that's pretty good. And then at the bottom, I don't know if you can see that. It says advanced fingerprint identification, 10,000 milliamps rechargeable lithium battery and works with Alexa and Google Assistant. So on the back here, again, works with voice assistant. Remote app control, so you can control the device via Wi-Fi on your phone. One year battery, 10,000 milliamps. It does say up to 24 months if you're not connected to Wi-Fi. IP64 weatherproof rating, built to last. So it's durable, it says work after 250,000 rounds of testing. Emergency unlock plug, unlock your smart device using a portable charger when it is out of power. So if it's dead, you can hook it up to uh, external power to get it unlocked. Security you can trust. Um, this is a grade two security certification from the Builders Association. Your prints remain private based on their bank grade encryption chip. And then locks automatically. You can have it lock automatically after a certain amount of time if you want. I don't recommend it, it's up, for, up to you, but I usually get locked out. So I wanted to point out real quick how nice their presentation is here. I always really enjoyed Yuffie's presentation pretty much like I enjoy Apple's presentation. So hats off to you feel on that one. So right off the bat, like usual, you have their large 24 seven monitoring by Eufy security sticker here. You have their user manual. So you can go through here and figure out how to set everything up and also shows you kind of how to install it. Here is the front of the lock. I like how they have this cut out right here. So that way it kind of rests all the weight inside the door. Um, I don't really see that very often, so that's kind of nice. And the back side's rubber. All of it is rubber. Sometimes you see like a pad on the corners, but this is all rubber. So that way it doesn't, uh, all the vibrations of the door shutting and closing doesn't 
hurt any of the door or the colors. Then you have the fingerprint sensor up here. It kind of blends in with the color. And then you have all the buttons here. And they're all, looks like, press sensitive, but you can't really, there's no button. So you just, I, I'm assuming press sensitive there. And then you got the lock here. I'm not really sure. Kind of explains how to remove this. And then that way you can actually use the physical keys. Then you have the back side on the interior and that wire will connect up to there. And then you have the batteries. The batteries go behind here and then the physical lock and unlock. So that way you can unlock and lock if you want to. And it looks like it goes both ways here. So that way you can set it up for a right swinging door or a left swinging door. And this is pretty heavy duty as well. And then I'm not gonna get them out quite yet, but when I get ready to install it, they have all of the hardware and all that right here. Strike plates, as well as the actual, what do you call that? The door lock, I guess? <laughs> I complicated that. but. As you can see here, they have steps in here written. So this is step one, step two is way up there. And three is probably gonna be something else. I think it's the install of the device, four, five, six. So that's really nice. So let's go ahead and get this lock installed and show you more about how it works. So now I've had it installed for a couple days and been able to use it and get used to it. I say get used to it, but it's pretty easy, uh, pretty clear cut and dry on how to use it. I did have a little bit of an issue with the calibration or it actually locking all the way. So what I did is I uninstalled it and then reinstalled it. I'm not sure if it just got bound up or what, I, I'm not sure. But if you're into an issue, go ahead and uninstall it and reinstall it. Or maybe even loosen up the bolts that hold it together and press it together on the door. But they do have a nice installation guide on the phone app. So when you're going to install it, or when you add the device onto your phone, it tells you and walks you through how to install it step by step, which is really nice as long along with they have the user user manual kind of show you how to do it too. Now this has a couple features on how to unlock the door. You got, got the fingerprint where you just put your finger on the fingerprint area and it reads it and unlocks the door for you as well as you got the code combo so you can get a code and put it in there and it'll unlock it for you. And then you have a physical key, which is really nice. So, you can use a physical key if you wanted to, or if the battery's dead, you can do it that way. But if the battery's dead, you can also plug it in. There's a little micro USB port on the bottom where you can plug it in and power up the device before, uh, just for a little bit, so that way you can uh, unlock the door and then charge the battery. So that's nice that they have that. And then you can also use the app to unlock the door via that. So let's go ahead and get into the app, and I'll show you around real quick. Um, I wanted to mention that there is a nice feature on it that I like about this that most don't have. If you don't have a home automation system like I do at my house where it checks the locks at a certain time every night because how many times do you lay in bed and you're like, did I lock the front door? I do it all the time. So this on the app, it allows you to set a certain time period from like 9, a, 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. if you wanted to to auto lock. So if at 9 p.m., the start of that whole thing, if the door's not locked, it waits the one minute or two minute time period that you have and then it automatically locks for you. So let's get into that app. So right here, here's all my Eufy products that I have right now currently on my phone. I just have the front door lock. So you tap into that, it tells me that my door's unlocked. So if I drag that, tap that and drag it down, now it's gonna go lock. You won't be able to hear it, it's upstairs, but it's gonna go ahead and go lock. Uh, my front door. So now you see it's locked. Now if I tap and drag it down, it's gonna unlock. So that way, if you open the app up, you don't accidentally tap it. I haven't seen that done on any other app for door locks, so that's kind of cool. Then you have lock events on the bottom left, and this kind of shows you what happened at what times and whatnot. So right now, DIY read is my username, and you can see I unlocked, locked certain times, and also it, it logs when it's manually locked and unlocked. So that's kind of cool. Now the bottom right is manage access. This is where you can add people's access levels. So if you want to add access to it, you can add the person's name, person, next. And then you can say always use or use it on a schedule. So here's a great time. So you can put it for a cleaning person or someone that only needs access at a certain time, at a certain day. Uh, it was really nice. This one on this lock, my previous lock that I've reviewed only allowed you to do it on certain days. This one allows you to do a days as well as uh, during certain times. So if I say Friday at 
8 a.m. till noon for my cleaning person, then that's the only time that the VAPS code works. So you can set up a code and a fingerprint for them. So if you wanted to, you could give them a code or you can just give them a fingerprint. Fingerprint. So let's go ahead and go to the settings here. So it does tell you the battery power or how much is left, as well as the name. Here's the auto lock features. So you can do it on a schedule or a time based. One touch locking, so which you can just tap and hold the lock button for a couple of seconds and it'll automatically lock the door. So that way when you're leaving, you can go ahead and lock the door. Um, I wish you could just tap something and make it lock, but you gotta hold it for just a little bit. First world problems, I know. Uh, wrong try protection, so you can you can turn this on and you can lock the lock and make sure it doesn't go on if they're failed attempts. So we talked about the scramble passcode, which was the whole type in whatever you want, type in the passcode and type in whatever you want on the back end, and it'll unlock it. Lock sounds, it does have a lock sound uh, from the unit. You can turn those on and off. Uh, if it's in an area where you want it to be quiet at night, you might turn it off or leave it on if you have younger kids that are trying to leave the house. You'll be able to hear it. Notifications, you can turn it on and off to be notified when it locks and unlocks. Lock calibration, so it does need to calibrate. So if it gets off and something's wonky happening, recalibrate it before you un uninstall and reinstall. Internet connection, probably gonna, uh, it's just gonna show me what it's connected to Wi-Fi wise. Time settings, set up the time area code, or not area code, but the time code for uh, what time zone you're in. I was trying to say time frame. I don't know why went away from me. You can integrate with the doorbell. They have a mounting guide for it. And then you can share the device right here as well as about device. Share device so I can share this with anybody else. And then they can log in the, in the Eufy app and use the unlock feature and lock feature from their own phone too. About device will allow you to update firmware, find out what firmware it is on. If you have any issues, Eufy will probably ask you what's in that uh, area to kind of figure out what they need to do to help you as well as you can remove the device. So if you're not gonna use the device anymore, or I mean, if you're done with your device, you're gonna reinstall something else or move, whatever it is, remove the device and then you can attach it to your next network. All right, so now that you've seen the app, also seen the lock and what it can do, now you get to decide if this lock is for you. And it's about 200, I think it's 259.99, 260 bucks for the, the, this nickel plated one or the silver one. Uh, the silver one's 10 bucks cheaper or 249.99. I'll leave links in the description below so you can check them out. And you'll also, I think there's some discounts you can get via the referral program through Eufy. So go ahead and check that out as well. Cause I know that if you buy more than one item, yeah, I think you get 50% off somewhere. So go ahead and check that out and see if that's, if that's, if you're interested in buying, um, see if you can save a couple bucks by using those links. If this video helped you out in any way, give me a like. If you have any questions, comments, or opinions about this, go ahead and put in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. And if this is your first time to my channel, please consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time.